Meniere's disease is a diagnosis we're becoming more and more familiar with in the office. It often presents with vertigo or drop attacks, dizziness, fullness in the ear and tinnitus. The fullness of the ears and tinnitus will often present just on one side. The vertigo or drop attacks often present with the feeling of the room spinning around you. These can be really debilitating and cause people to have to lie down and rest for sometimes long periods of time. This can be really disruptive to people's daily lives. Meniere's disease is often a last resort diagnosis after all of the other differentials have been ruled out. Management for this condition can be quite individual and isn't particularly clear, but what a lot of people are recommended is that they reduce salt intake as well as alcohol and caffeine consumption. This can sometimes help to reduce intensity or frequency of vertigo attacks, but may not help with the fullness or tinnitus. People can also try different medications for Meniere's disease. These have mixed results. Some people see good symptomatic relief with these, but often it's not a long-term solution. What we specialize in in our office is analyzing the link between the upper neck and the nervous system. Often when we find issues with the upper neck, it will be impacting structures responsible for balance and coordination. This can start to explain why people are experiencing the dizziness, the vertigo and drop attacks. Once we've done our specific analysis and found something that we can work with, we work to make corrections at the upper neck in order to take pressure off of the nervous system. Once we've achieved this, people will start to see symptomatic change. The normal course for a lot of our Meniere's patients is that the frequency and intensity of drop attacks will start to reduce. After that, the dizziness starts to change and reduce. After that, the fullness in the ears will begin to change as well. The last changes people start to see will be the tinnitus. This often hangs around a little longer, but normally people will see fluctuations in this and then it will start to stabilize and reduce over time. If you or someone you know is struggling with Meniere's disease, then why not book a call with one of us and we can talk about getting you some help.